Shalom. Call hello, Yahweh by Shem Awashai, Baha Shem, Bakakwadash. Double honors into the apostles, double honors into the elder bishops, salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so, now more so than ever. To the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth, that be like unto the speckled bird, the Israelite foreigners among the heathens that look like the heathens. And to the Aquath that are listening and learning to you, I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm from the branch of the Great Millstone here in Chicago, coming at you another lesson in truth. And uh, just want to do this part because I made comments on a couple brothers' videos and, um, you know, about this this situation with this woman who put out these uh, extremely false allegations against the IUIC. And um, it was it was, you know, and it was she was found out to be a liar pretty quickly. The, the, the video evidence itself proves that what she was saying was not true. And um, another thing that came that came stood out to me immediately is that her spirit's not right. I believe this woman's a tear. You know, um, I believe that this woman is one of those dolls rolls, uh, uh, Edomites who are claiming to be Gad. You know, you, if you know if you don't know the history of the the dolls rolls, I suggest I suggest you look it up. But she said that they had firearms and were aggressively doing things and showing toting toting their firearms and showing them off and. Clearly not the case, you know. They're just trying to, uh, uh, they're just trying to, to, uh, uh, you know, bring the truth to our people and that whole sort of thing. But the the flip side of it is, is that they were never taught that by the elders, and I just find it strange that uh, that you know, it's just that IUIC is just one of those camps that's always in the midst of a uh, of a scandal, and and I do not trust a five hundred one c three charter group. It calls on the name of, of Jesus Christ. All right. We already know what that name is connected to. And um, and and this could very well be, uh, you know, uh, um, a wag the dog false flag event in practice. You know, she could be an agent. Um, and like and like I said, her spirit's not right. Um, and I, I, I personally believe she could be gad, but I believe she's a she's a terror. I don't think she's really one of us in the first place. Um, she had that total Edomite Karen spirit on her. But uh, but I'm going to read a couple scriptures. But you can't because you can't get around these things because these things happen. We're always going to have these wicked people of our own. I'm going to read an account from the uh, from the Maccabees about Bacchides. And uh, I'm going to start at first Maccabees 9 and uh, 23. And it reads, now, after the death of Judas, the wicked began to put forth their heads in the coast of Israel. And there arose up such as was wrought iniquity. In those days also was there a very great famine by reason whereof the country revolted and went with them. Then Bacchides chose wicked men and made them lords over the country. And Bacchides was in league with Esau Edom. Just like she possibly possibly could be, just like these 501c3 charter groups, like the one on the screen, the IUIC, and a couple other Israelite groups that have 501c3 charters. All right, a lot of these things are, are just simply being set up. Okay, but it says, uh, and they made inquiry. Oh wait, wait, Salaki, let me go back. And Bacchides chose the wicked men and made them lords over the country. And they made inquiry and search for Judas, friends, and brought them unto Bacchides, who took vengeance of them and used them despitefully. So was there a great affliction in Israel, and like whereas was not since the time that a prophet was not seen among them. For this cause, all Judas' friends came together and said unto Jonathan, since thy brother Judas died, we have no man like him to go forth against our enemies and Bacchides and against them of our nation that are adversaries to us. We're always going to have adversaries from among our own, especially among our women. Like the scripture says, now let me grab Micah uh, 7 and 10. For the, 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 the Gadite woman, the you know, the, the Iskarite woman, the Ephraim woman, the Ephraimite woman, ooh we the 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 uh the Judite woman, we're gonna have enemies among our own people and especially among our women. All right. Let me find it Micah seven and ten. 
because she's angry because they interrupted her Easter egg hunt, you know, and at this point, you know, it, it, it's, it's easy information to, you got people that are not even Christian, you know, breaking down the deceit and the lies and the orgies and the death that surrounds and the, and the, the witchcraft that surrounds Easter. It has nothing to do with the Bible. All right. And people say, well, it's in the Bible. That's because they printed it there. The word, if you remember the Bible is written in Greek, Hebrew and Greek. If you go into the Hebrew, if you go into the Greek, all right, if you go, well, that's being in the New Testament, the word Easter. But if you go into the Greek, you'll find that the word Easter is not there. The word Passover is there. They changed it out. All right. Easter is, is connected to, to a, a paganistic festival that, that had a lot to do with orgies and, and, and group sex. And then all the babies that were born of these of these women uh, uh, from from these mass orgies, the babies would be sacrificed into their gods. All right. Roughly paraphrased. That's basically what it's about. All right. And this is what she's defending as she's demonizing the name, not necessarily the men of the Lord, because I don't believe there's a lot of men in the Lord uh, uh, among IUIC. All right. But she's definitely uh, uh, demonizing. Israel as all. Now, I'm not saying that every man in IUIC is wicked. I do not believe that. But uh, but among their leadership, I don't think there's one righteous man. All right. Real talk. But Micah 7 and 10, and it reads, Then she that is my enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her, which said unto me, Where is Yahweh thy power? Mine eyes shall behold her. Now she shall be trodden down as the mire in the streets. And this woman is going to have no covering. Right when that time comes, especially if she is actually a tear, right? If she's a tear, it, you know it's a done deal. It's, it's, she's she's a she's a walking dead. Uh, let me read the uh, let me go to the uh, to the book of Susanna. All right, like I said, it's always been wicked amongst us that that lie and you know and things of that nature. But this is Susanna. Um, I'm gonna read. Verses 21 through 24, these old wicked men that tried to set up this young Israelite sister. It says, uh, and I'm going to start at verse 21, and it reads, If thou will not, we will bear witness. Hold on, I'm going to start at 20. Behold, the garden doors are shut, that no man can see us, and we are in love with thee. Therefore, consent unto us and lie with us. So basically, they wanted to tag team DP, double penetrate this woman. This married woman that they were spying on, that she was in her own garden, in her tub, where, where they snuck in there, all right, basically, and uh, where she thought she was alone. And then they came out and revealed themselves. They both called each other first, and then they decided they both were there for the same reason. So they just decided what they wanted to do to her, all right, um, which is beyond wicked, Okay. Um, in verse 21, it says, if thou wilt not, we will bear witness against thee that a young man was with thee and therefore thou didst send away the maids from thee. So what they were, what they were aiming to do was tell the people that they found, they caught her, uh, in her garden that her husband had made for her. All right. They've caught her in a garden with another man and and that's what they were planning on doing. It says, uh, verse um, 23, and she said, uh, the, verse 22, then Susanna sighed and said, I am straightened on every side. I mean, she, she, she's like, damn, I'm just messed up. I'm sitting in this pool naked, y'all standing here looking over me, all right? Um, for if I do this thing, it is death unto me. So, She's saying, if I give myself unto you, I'm going to die anyway. And then, and then she said, and if, and if I do not, I cannot escape your hands. She, said, she knew that they would have no mercy on her and that they would lie on her. All right. And, um, and verse 23, it is better for me to fall into your hands and not do it than to sin in the sight of my Lord. So basically he said, if y'all are going to have me, y'all going to have to take it. And if y'all take it, then then it's on you because I'd rather uh, I'd rather fall into your hands and y'all, you know, abuse my body than to sin, than willfully sin before my Lord. That's basically the decision that she said. All right. And um, and with that, Susanna cried with a loud voice 
and the two elders cried out against her. And they ran one and opened the garden door. So when the servants of the house heard the cry in the garden, they rushed in at a privy door to see what was done unto her. But when the elders had declared their matter, when they lied, the servants were greatly ashamed, for there was never such a report made against Susanna. So, and that's what this woman is doing, not necessarily to IUIC, but trying to do to the entire Hebrew Israelites, uh, uh, which is, well, you know, I, like I said, I don't know if it's really her people. I, 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 this woman's spirit just didn't sit well with me. I believe she's a tear. But nevertheless, she's trying to come against all of Israel, against the Lord's elect. And there's going to be a punishment for that, man. Lord, don't play that mess. So when her uh, particular punishment comes, it's going to be bad for her. All right? Because the Lord said, oh, this is Romans 9 and 13. For this thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal. That really says thou shalt not murder. Because uh, sometimes that there are sins that, re that require you to be put to death. And the person put to death is not murdering you, they're killing you, and it's righteous in that cause. So, when, you know, that's a, uh, they put the word kill there, all right? But it's, it should say thou should not murder, all right? Because soldiers kill all the time in the name of defending democracy, all right? It says, for this thou should not commit adultery, thou should not murder, thou should not steal, thou should not bear false witness, all right? So, she bear false witness, Right. And, and there's a scripture which I can't think of right now. which says something to the effect that what you intended to do unto your brethren or, or them, which should be done unto you. Because she want these men to be arrested and jailed and, and harmed um, when they had because she was offended that they, you know, that they uh, told her that Easter was 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 not of the Bible, was not of God. All right. And if she's so mad about people being on our land, all United States is our land. You should be mad the Edomites are walking around. You're not protesting that. They didn't force us onto fucking reservation. She ain't open her mouth up against that. All right. Got us paying rent and taxes on our own damn land. You know, buying furniture, paying for our own trees. Okay, this is, uh, but you know, this is just something that we have to endure and we don't have to endure it much longer. Let me get one more scripture, man. Also in, uh, in the book of Matthew. But, uh, this is Matthew 24. Yeah, Matthew 24 and 9, it says, And then they shall deliver you up to be afflicted. Same as like, you know, Bacchides was an agent and insider, one of our own people, all right, was having our people afflicted for speaking the truth, for standing for righteousness. Then shall they deliver you up to be aff afflicted and shall kill you, and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake, including of our own people. We're hated for the name of Yahweh Bashim Nabashai because the nations wanted to hide that name because the nations... That's why you have, uh, 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 you know, the nations that made that atonement, why, why they were raging against us. Why did the heathen rage? You know, those are the, basically those two words mean the same thing. You know, come together, that atonement. All right. Because and that's why the Lord said, bring them hither uh, and slay them before me. They want me that want, don't want me to rule over them. We're going to win this thing regardless. Whether we have to get paid with our lives one way or another, because if we do, we're going to get raised up and come back and, 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 you know, and put the holy beating, the holy smackdown on these fools. All right. All right. We're going to give them the, the, the holy elbow from the top ropes. It says, uh, then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another. And shall hate one another. Let me jump down to verse 13. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Only people that are going to be saved are the people that endure through this. And, the, and those are the people in, of the elect. All right. So with that, I'm going to give all praises, all honor and glory.
unto Yahweh by Hashem now with Shai, by Hashem with Kaha Kodash, Wa Ababa Ball to this woman, Wa Ababa Ball to Babylon, Shalom.